It has been nearly six months since human remains were discovered in the backyard of a Bethany home. And tonight, the family of the man whose body was found in that shallow grave say they're no closer to answers than they were back then. News for us, Austin Brissett on the story for us, Austin. Well, Kevin, the last update they received was about three months ago. Police telling them a murder weapon was found, but allegedly wouldn't tell them what it was or how their relative died. Bethany police telling us today they're still not releasing any information, leaving the family looking for answers. We would like closure for such a tragedy in our family. Five and a half months. That's how long it's been since the tragic discovery of 43 year old Clifton Taylor in a shallow grave in the backyard of a Bethany home. It's devastating. It's just awful. Taylor's sister in law, Holly, saying their last update came almost three months ago and that they haven't heard much since. We are still waiting to find out how he, how my brother in law passed, uh, what his cause of death was. I just don't understand why they can't give us some updates, why they can't talk to us like we're concerned concerned family members that are mourning such a horrible event. The discovery made June 7th by Holly's other brother in law, Pat. Holly saying she immediately knew it was Clifton because he had been missing for weeks. The family also under the strong impression that Taylor was murdered by another member of their family. Pat had already found um, in his cleaning a lawnmower blade that had duct tape wrapped around one end. So he thought that so it was like a handle, so he thought maybe this was the murder weapon. That weapon given to police. Meanwhile, the family member they believe is responsible was already in the Oklahoma County Jail on unrelated charges at the time of the discovery. Booked into jail on May 22nd, a little over two weeks before Taylor's remains were found. Fast forward almost six months later, the family says they've been unable to get updates on the case as they continue to grieve their loss and hope for answers. And our family would love some closure and love to know that we are safe from the person that took Cliff's life. Well, we reached out to the office of the medical examiner as well to see if they have determined the cause of death and how long the remains had been there. We were told the report will be emailed to us as soon as it becomes available.